Hi, this is Joanna from Hearty by Heart and welcome back to another video for the alleyway stamps. And today I'm using a learning curve and I'm also using a sentiment from More Than Words. And I'm starting out with a grey cardstock and I'm using my embossing buddy first to remove any static because I'm going to do some embossing. So I'm mounting my crayon on my Fiskars stamp press and then I will stamp it with Versamark and I will create my own background so I'm creating my own pattern paper. So I'm stamping uh, with my Versamark and I'm just stamping the crayons in a random order and then in, in between I'm uh, pouring some embossing powder over them. Versamark stays wet for quite some time, but just to make sure that it doesn't dry, I'm stamping a few and then I'm pouring out over some embossing powder. I'm just using my heat gun again to dry the last crayons. And I will use my Prismacolor pencils today to color. And this is really easy coloring. I'm not shading it at all, so I'm just using two colors. I'm using the lighter color for the crayon and then I'm using a slightly darker crayon for the paper around the crayon. So I'm just picking some colors that I like and I'm uh, coloring over the cardstock. So, uh, And I really like to do this with Prismacolor pencils because uh, they are so have, have has so much pigment in them so they cover dark cardstock perfectly. And I'm using an, uh, a new makeup brush just to room for, because when you are coloring with Prismacolors, uh, there are some, uh, some uh, pigment dust. So I'm just using that to brush off the dust so I don't rub it into the cardstock. And now it's time for the sentiment. And the sentiment says, you brighten my day. And I'm stamping it and embossing it in white on a piece of light gray cardstock. And again, I'm using my Fiskars stamp press. I think this is a, this is a really good tool to have. It's uh, super easy to line up sentiments. I really like to use it. And then I'm just embossing this in white as well. And the, uh, the piece was a little bit too big, so I'm just using my, a craft knife and a metal ruler to trim it down to size. And then I'm creating some banner edges on, the, uh, on one end. And I wanted to have a vellum banner as well, so I'm just uh, creating one. And I want the vellum banner to be slightly bigger, just to create some interest. And this is when I think that the card needs something else. So I'm deciding I want to cut the cut this out. So I'm using a frame die from Simon's stamp and I will mount this on a piece of white cardstock instead. So I'm just using some Nina Solo white and I'm scoring it so it's a standard size card. So it's five and a half and four and a quarter. But it was a little bit too big. So I'm using a die that is slightly smaller. So I use this all the time. I, usually I don't plan my card out. I just have an idea and, idea and then I start creating it and I'm filming it. So this is why I, I die cut this piece twice because this was a little bit too big the first time. And here I'm happy with the placement so I'm using some foam tape to adhere the sentiment onto the vellum banner. And then I just cut the excess off. And I'm adhering it with my ATG gun onto the white cardstock. And if you are interested in any of the supplies that I used in this video, they are listed over at my blog and you can find that address in the YouTube description down below. And uh, I'm using some multimedia mat on the uh, back side on the vellum piece to make sure that the banner stays onto the card. And this was the card for me today. I hope that you liked it and that you got inspired and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.